easy electronic conspicuity. For today's experiment, dear viewer, you will require a ball of string, a yoghurt pot, and an ESP32 single board computer with onboard LoRa, uh, GPS and its own power. And what we did was we flew it as an underslung load under me Phantom just as a range check, just for interest. What we've built is a tracker, a tracker that allows us to show up on the screen of aircraft equipped with FLAM or open glider network equipment. And, you know, in the right circumstances, you can add it to bigger and better systems. But we'll come to that in a minute. This probably wasn't the best idea. I probably won't be repeating this. I begin more of that later. So you can end up with a very, very basic, very simple range plot from that. And obviously it'd be a good idea if you've lost your machine to find it. Um, but you can also, your your machine through ground-based receivers will show up on on bigger pictures. And when you know, look, when I went to look and add, add this little grab, there's New Zealand one flying off to the west in the UK. I cannot get away from these Kiwis, however hard I try. This is obviously a data aggregation site. It's bringing in ADSB, FLAM, an open glider network, and overlay it on a map with controlled airspace and all the other good stuff. Your aircraft can also, at this point, or in a similar point, be pulled into an unmanned traffic management system. So, in electronic conspicuity terms, to put silly long words on it, you're becoming compliant. And now, how hard is it i hear you ask well it's not hard at all just go off to glidernet.org and follow the instructions you need to follow better than i did it isn't all that hard if you follow these instructions to the letter if you're a clown like me <laughs> you make it harder the esp32 single ball computer with has a built-in LoRa radio it has a little screen so you can see what's happening and, and really all you do is, is solder up a GPS. How much, how much, I hear you cry. You won't believe how much it's gonna cost. And remember, this is bringing you similar functionality to good old ADSB, that thing that's supposed to be here by 2020. Look, the single board computer, $21, and the GPS, about $10. Buy all that in bulk, and, and it's gonna be cheaper still. That's all you need to get yourself into a UTM. Um, don't be fooled. Uh, yeah, anyway, I won't go going down a rented corner, I won't go down that. I sort of, sort of, sort of have a little bit of a hat in the ring with this. A couple of years ago, I was getting my glider ticket current again, and I flew in the flight before this very incident, which you're seeing on the screen now, and we didn't know where this glider was. I, somebody else was flying and said hey what's that on the hill over there and even from the gliding site we we couldn't see this aircraft and the gliding site is just uh, just off to the left hand side of the frame and it's about a kilometer and a half away but it's over the brow of the hill so you just can't see it so me and another fellow drove up uh, to to almost the top of the hill that you can see behind it and, and, and ran down. And we didn't see it till we were right, right on top of it either. We didn't come right from the top, we came, we came from, from stage left. Now if we'd had some tracking on this, uh, we'd have seen, at least we'd have seen where it had stopped flying. Um, yeah, you know, the rest is history as they say. But for $31, I, I think it's a bit of a no brainer. So I will be equipping all the aircraft at the gliding club with this gear. Now this year, uh, and I've been trying, I've been trying, I've been working towards doing this, but the ESP32 with the built-in radio has just made it just super simple. It's so simple that why wouldn't you? So in January, uh, if you can, if you listen, uh, or, or have chatted with me you'll know I work with a chap called Vic and uh, we do we, we track animals or I help him track animals he's the genius behind all that sort of gear and he his friend in January um, was lost missing for two days uh, in in this type of aircraft that's behind him there and 
he had crashed into dense forest within a mile of where he had taken off from and it took two days to find him again simple tracking in there uh, would have saved a lot of time it wouldn't have helped him um, but it would have saved a lot of time so i am bewildered uh, really as to why aircraft tracking isn't really a thing or well, there aren't better ways of getting information into air traffic navigation service places wherever you are in the world even even a cell phone uh, would help um, if you, pe people are ranting on about um, privacy and things like that well privacy doesn't matter a jot when it's your loved one you're trying to find anyway i'll take my rant hat off now <laughs> so obviously the phantom wasn't wasn't going to be a uh, a future proof idea so i've whacked the thing on the bonsai do i now have the smallest open glider network equipped glider in the world 